Hey there crew, my name is Captain Geronimo and welcome to yet another episode on which we're going to be playing Star Trek Online. To be more precise, I'm going to do a review of the Genesis Bundle, the new Genesis Bundle. With that being said, let's proceed with today's episode. Engage! The new Genesis Bundle can be acquired by opening up your Zen Store, going to the Ship Bundles, and right here at the top we have New Genesis Bundle. This bundle has been released June 24th, 2021 on the PC. Very soon it should be released on the console and Xbox depending on when you're watching this video. It has a price of 7500 Zen, however, upon its initial release for a limited amount of time, to be precise July 1st, 2021, it's going to run with 35% discount, which means that this initial price of 7,500 Zen is going to be reduced to 4,875 Zen. This bundle contains variety of different items. For example, you have Tier 6 Clark, Multi-Mission Command Cruiser, Tier 6 Grissom, a light science vessel. There are two fleet starship modules, two experimental starship upgrade tokens better known as Tier 6 X tokens. You get Wrath of Khan, Excursion Jacket, Engineering Vest and Captain's Vest, Type 2 Phaser Compression Pistol from 20 to 85, and lastly, Genesis Ground Vanity Device. Considering the price of this pack, one tier 6 starship costs 3000 Zen, you get two of them, one fleet ship module costs 500 Zen, you have two of them, and one tier 6 X token costs 1000 Zen, you have two of them. Sum it all up, this bundle would cost 9000 Zen, Excluding the Wrath of Khan Excursion Jacket, Engineer's Vest, Captain's Vest, Phaser and Genesis Device. So even with the full price, this is very this is very good offer. Now if you do not want to purchase the bundle and you would rather love to purchase ships or anything from within this bundle separately, you can do so. Just go to the ships and find Clark. Multi-Mission Command Cruiser for 3000 Zen or Grissom also for 3000 Zen. For the purposes of today's video, I'm just going to purchase the Genesis Bundle because it's currently on the discount. Your inventory should get two fleet ship modules, Wrath of Khan uniforms, phaser, Genesis device and upgrade tokens. Unpacking the Genesis device, let's attempt to use the device. Okay, the device beams down with the same effect seen in Star Trek The Wrath of Khan. It explodes and it creates life. It truly is the Genesis device. After some time, everything disappears. That's very cool. I love that. Next up, the uniform. You unpack the big bundle and you have all three pieces. Wrath of Khan Excursion Jacket, Wrath of Khan Engineer's Vest, and Wrath of Khan Captain's Vest. Two fleet ship modules because you can now purchase your starships in a fleet form, and a ground phaser type 2, as well as two tier 6 X tokens for you to upgrade those starships. Now without any further ado, let's take a closer look at the Grissom. Grissom is amazing modernization of a legendary Obert class, best known for exploding in Star Trek 3. It features the same strange design with similar interchangeable mission pod below main ship superstructure. At the first glance it looks very new and TNG-like, but in its heart it's very old TMP era design, a true blast from the past. Available templates are Grissom and two Obert variants, one from 2280s and another one from 2360s. There are no special bridges made for this model, however, you may use any bridge that you have previously purchased. Windows come with several different options, and those are types 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and type 0. Material options are as follow, Defiant, Galaxy, Intrepid, NX and its refit, Sovereign, Types 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7A, Type 8 and 8B. 
By pressing Advanced Options tab, you get to customize ship's pattern and style. Patterns are standard, nothing special nor unique. However, on style you can choose in between three given templates. Use this option to create your own perfect and unique variant of this ship. If you were to set patterns to standard Cassiopeia, left side of a color to the purple and right to yellow, your ship will look something like this. With some adjustments, you can make a very vibrant and neon-like ship. And now, without any further ado, let's go into space. The design of this 125-year-old science vessel has been put on desk of Starfleet Corps of Engineers, who responded by creating a new ship class. Trying to keep as many of unconventional charms of its original design as possible, this updated design has inherited many of the unique benefits of its fame lineage, while also benefiting from enhanced engineering standards present on Federation vessels in early 25th century. From the sensitive sensor equipment housed in its semi-detached modular mission pod, to the tightly packed and heavily shielded warp nacelles, this upgraded design has been named after the USS Grissom, a science vessel lost in action while surveying the Genesis planet. Grissom-class light science vessel is classified as a scalable Tier 6 Federation science vessel. You can use and fly this starship as soon as you finish STO's tutorial mission, just like all other Tier 6 ships. If you're a brand new player or just having a new character, as you level up the game, your ship will scale up alongside with you, following you in terms of strength and new abilities. As it scales up, it gets more hull HP, console slots, weapon slots, more powerful bridge officer abilities and weapons. Starship's mastery points may be earned immediately, however, mastery as a system will not be activated until you reach level 50. With the higher the level that you're on when you get this ship, the less scaling there will be required. If you get this ship on level 65, no scaling is needed. Scaling is in a direct link with player level. For every 5 to 10 levels that you pass, your ship unlocks more and more things and abilities. If there is any confusion about the scaling, the table is on the screen. If there is anything else, feel free to ask in the comments. Federation starships come pre-equipped with standard equipment and weapons of a lowest mark, available at starship's minimum rank. The items provided are usually appropriate for the type of vessel and starship's place in history. As we never seen Grissom fire a single shot on screen, but we have seen Oberts in TNG, the game is giving us a ship pre-equipped with phaser arrays and photon torpedoes. Those weapons are set to mark infinite, which means that they too scale up alongside with the ship, becoming increasingly more powerful, however, here's a catch. They can't be upgraded, nor can be re-engineered. If you would like to use upgradable and then re-engineerable variant of those weapons, you must win them from loot drops by trading them with other players, by purchasing them from fleet provision stores, by crafting them for yourself or by buying them on the exchange. As an Admiralty card, Grissom is classified as 2-star rarity science card. It comes with 36 engineering, 18 tactical and 52 science points. Starship's maintenance period is 18 hours and special abilities addition of times 2.5 critical rating from science. On level 65 you have 38,250 hull HP, they're free forward alongside with free aft weapon slots. All weapon slots, forward and aft are normal, meaning that you cannot install cannons. You also get a secondary deflector slot, pre-equipped with the generic, deteriorating secondary deflector mark infinite. Available bridge officer stations are Lieutenant Tactical, Lieutenant Commander Engineering, Commander Science Cross Temporal, Lieutenant Commander Science and Ensign Universal. The ship can also be upgraded to the Tier 6 X with the use of Experimental Starship Upgrade Token. By doing so, you unlock extra Starship Device Slot, Universal Console Slot and the ability to slot an extra Starship Tray. There are 3 device slots, 2 tactical, 4 engineering and 5 science console slots. Ship's modifiers are 0.85 for the hull, 0.1.4 for the shields and 0.15 for the impulse. Grissom's turn rate is graded as 13 degrees per second with inertia rating of 60. Ships of 25th century use matter-antimatter warp cores as their primary power sources. Those cores will provide you with a bonus power, in Grissom's case with plus 15 to the auxiliary and plus 5 to the shield subsystem power levels. I would like to do a short commercial break in here.
Welcome back crew! Grissom being a science ship that carries a lot of sensitive sensor equipment, you get a sensor analysis. It is an active toggle ability that, while you maintain a sensor lock upon the target, gives you a stacking effect that either improves the damage and power drain against an enemy or improves a heal directed towards an ally. This effect stacks every 3 seconds to the maximum of 16 stacks after 18 continuous seconds. To maintain the desired effect, you must hold the sensor lock on your target, if you can. Also as a science ship, the Grissom comes with a built-in subsystem targeting abilities. After activating a subsystem targeting ability, the player, or should I say you, will gain a 10 second buff, during which attacking an enemy starship with any form of energy weapon will cause a stacking power to this subsystem and will come with a small chance of completely taking that subsystem offline. If that system is taken offline, it renders all of the abilities that use this subsystem temporarily inert. For example, if you target the shields and subsequently take them offline, then all of the target's shield facings will go down until your enemy restores shield power. Have I mentioned that this ship comes with full temporal abilities? Well, I guess I have now. As a temporal ship, you have access to the built-in molecular reconstruction system. Temporal ships can make a subtle alterations on its molecular levels by use of molecular reconstruction. This technology allows the starship to assume one of three different configurations – defense, offense or support. Additionally, the player may choose to have no active configuration. Each configuration has its own strengths and weaknesses. Also, every configuration once activated will generate its own specific counter. After activating configuration you must wait for a few seconds for counter to be generated. Then you collect these counters as fuel to use the molecular deconstruction beam. Ship may have up to six different configuration counters at a single time. You can deactivate one configuration and then activate another. This will result in counter mixing. After reaching 6 counters, you cannot generate more counters. Strength of molecular deconstruction beam depends on how many counters of each configuration you have collected. Molecular deconstruction beam will be at its strongest if you have the same 6 counters collected. Also, the lower side of your ship is going to glow with a specific color depending on which configuration you activate it. For every offensive counter, your molecular deconstruction beam will deal damage to target. For every defensive counter, your molecular deconstruction beam will heal you, and for every support counter, your molecular deconstruction beam will disable target. The starship comes with a mastery skill tree of a science vessel and it's comprised out of enhanced particle generators, advanced shield system, enhanced restorative circuitry, reactive shield technology and ship's trait, by the book. Activating Bridge Officer abilities that create anomalies or any temporal Bridge Officer ability will extend the duration of your active Bridge Officer anomalies by 2 seconds. This cannot extend any anomalies duration beyond double its original value. Ship's Semi-Illegal Console – Phased Space Membrane – This technology was adapted from scrapped tech, found amidst classified documents, which were originally tested aboard the USS Pegasus. It can form a thin membrane of phased space just beyond the ship's deflector shields. This envelope negates the physical properties of hostile sources. Physical and kinetic damage will simply pass through you by being forced to phase out of normal space. Hostile energy is also affected, but the field takes time to charge up to have an impact. Simultaneously, the field can also charge up over time to bestow the benefits on the ship's outgoing torpedo weapons. This experimental technology draws a great deal of power from Starship's auxiliary system, while active and will turn off automatically if the subsystem is drained to zero. So you better use auxiliary batteries to prolong this effect as long as you can. This console also provides a passive bonus to power transfer rate and shield hardness. Grissom is amazing science ship. Its trait, in my opinion, is one of science meta traits. Having prolonged anomaly effect is something that I can use to boost my EPG damage even more. Console is fun, it can save you when you're in a pickle and I love its boosting effect for torpedoes. It goes along to EPG torpedo builds. Ship is small and maneuverable, making it easy to fly and addition of temporal abilities can really help you in certain situations. Considering everything, I give this vessel 9 out of 10.